先生クジャク。ベネット・コールマンのカンパニー、オーナーのタイムズ・オフ・インディア・ニュースペーパー、was briefly a major shareholder in the iconic HDFC Bank. But how did a media house come to own close to 8% of India's largest private sector bank? This is the unexpected story of India's maiden friendly merger of two banks. Incorporated in 1994, Times Bank was Bennett Coleman and Company's foray into the fledgling private banking industry in India. On November 26, 1999, HCFC Bank and Times Bank announced their intention to merge in the first ever all stock deal in the Indian banking industry. At the time of the merger, the two banks were of comparable size. Times Bank had over 500 employees and a coveted deposit base of 3,000 crore rupees. HDFC Bank had over 800 employees at the time and interestingly a marginally smaller deposit base of about 2,900 crore rupees. HDFC Bank though was materially more profitable with net profits of about 80 crore rupees and a net NPA ratio of 1.25%. The corresponding numbers for Times Bank were 27 crore rupees and 3%. The difference in net NPA was a crucial component in other industry players overlooking Times Bank. Times Bank was not as conservative as HCFC Bank with its provisioning. However, the gross NPA numbers of the two banks were similar. Additionally, Times Bank had acquired long dated government securities at high interest rates, just as rates were beginning to fall. HCFC Bank would stand to gain tremendously from this investment, which, along with the large deposit base, would more than compensate for the higher net NPA ratio. As per the terms of the merger, shareholders of Times Bank, which itself had gone public shortly before the merger, would receive one share of HCFC Bank for every 5.57 shares owned in Times Bank. If you haven't already, please see our video on merger arbitrage to better understand share swap mergers. Also, Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Prior to the merger, Times Bank shares and HDFC Bank shares traded at approximately 18.3 rupees and 90 rupees respectively, indicating that the two companies went along with valuations ascribed by the markets rather than focusing on their own valuations of the businesses. An interesting aspect of the merger is the intense focus on secrecy throughout the diligence and negotiation process. Only a handful of senior bankers from each entity were privy to this privileged information and they went out of their way to ensure no information would be leaked. This control over information was also seen in HDFC Bank's most recent deal, its proposed merger with its own parent, HDFC Limited. So how did Bennett Coleman and company fare in all this? The merger gave them a roughly 7.7% stake in HDFC Bank, which they pared down over time. They locked in tremendous profits. As HCFC Bank's price skyrocketed post the merger, rising about two and a quarter times in the three months it took to consummate the merger. Sounds great, right? Imagine for a minute if they had held on instead. Through the merger, Bennett Coleman received approximately 1.7 crore shares of HCFC Bank. They, of course, would have been diluted subsequently over the years, dramatically so, in fact, including through issue of ESOP shares, the Centurion Bank of Punjab merger, And preferential allotments to HDFC Limited. After all that, assuming they never bought another share of HDFC Bank, the Times Group would have seen its shareholding diluted to a little over 3%. What would that holding be worth today? About 28,000 crores. Just goes to show, even in profit, there can be regret. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.